When things get serious, there's no time to think. That's my one sentence summary to describe the movie 1917. Uh, it's a movie uh, directed by Sam. It's a war. It's a wartime movie about the First World War, right? Directed by Sam Mendes, so on and so forth. Blah blah blah. Uh, here's the meat and gravy with me for this movie. Like I said, I'd summarize in one word. When things get in one sentence, when things get serious, there's no time to think. Why? I break that down three different points, and then relate it back to what I said at the top. My my sentence summary. First thing, there's a scene I want to highlight, guys, in this movie. It's a scene where... Uh, it, I'll just put it this way. A scene with shadows. It plays with shadows. First off, that's a great-looking scene. Everyone, if you haven't seen it already, go and watch 1917. Go study that scene. You'll know it when you see it. It's a scene with shadows. That's the best. It plays with shadows. That's a great looking scene. Great. You could tell the director was like, maybe that's that's how. I don't know if that it came to him in, in the night or something like that, or he plans that exactly, or it it was like a, a development process, and it started from something completely different. But hats off to the director Sam Mendes. You did great. Um, but the reason why I bring up that scene, uh, relating back to my first, my my original point about when things get serious, there's no time to think. Various reasons. First off, I was thinking about this before I uh, started um, put the camera on. There's a great setup for this scene. Earlier in the movie, one of the main characters he says something that I realized was like an offhand reference, but it's. It, it dumbed down my expectations for the scene. Someone says to him, oh, you have to go through so-and-so place uh, during the night time. Like I said, it's a wartime movie. Guys going through different places, might be enemy territory, might not be. He doesn't know exactly, but he just has to get to a certain place by the, um, at, by the end of the movie. Someone says to him before this scene I'm talking about with the shadows, you have to go through so-and-so place at night. And then he says, you know what? I, that, that doesn't bother me. He just says that line. So when I'm going through a scene and I'm watching him go through, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, we're about to get mm, the real mm, the real guy, the real brother. Because I think, oh, this is where he's going to be in his element. If he's walking around in broad daylight, he can always be risked uh, of death more so than the nighttime. I don't know shit about war movies. Um, obviously, that doesn't necessarily apply here because uh, things uh, pop off. Uh, just put it that way. <laughs> the scene escalates, and it escalates again. Relating back to what I said at the the beginning, when things get serious, people don't think. It escalates because of a basic mistake that someone makes that you would associate with like horror movies and stuff like that, and not necessarily with war movies. But it's a very human thing, and it seems the most human thing to do in this moment. There was something that. One of the main characters was shocked by, and in doing so, he forgot to be on his P's and Q's, and that's when the scene escalates. Again, when things get serious, people don't have time to think. Obviously, it escalates, escalates. At one point, um, I remember like watching this and thinking to myself, you know what? This is plot armor that he would get through something. The, this this character these characters it is plot armor that they would possibly get through this um in one piece but I actually don't mind that because it felt intense in the moment i wasn't thinking about the ending of this movie the ending of the scene that's why it's so powerful to me and that's why that's one of the reasons why i like this movie and why um it it was intense, but in a way that I didn't realize until thinking about it after watching the movie. Second thing that I like about this film, and that makes me think about my original uh, point about when things get serious, you don't have time to think. The camera work. What do I mean by that? There's... 
Oh, I just gotta say it and 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 mm, spoil it. There's a continuous take in this movie, a continuous one take. You have to let me know if you've seen the movie already, guys, down below. I do, is this like a really smart edited movie where they use like clever ways to cut in certain bits, or is this seriously a planned one take thing? Is it? Is it like a Birdman type thing for people who've seen that movie? Uh, because that's how this movie was was presented to me as a continuous one take. And to bring it back to my point, uh, to uh, like I mentioned about, you don't have time to think when it gets serious. It, I felt bad because I was watching it and and doing some other stuff. But if I took my eyes off of just a little bit, it felt like I missed a lot. So I kept like. I was watching this, my, my eyes were like, mm, like I, I had to keep scanning the screen because it felt like if I missed something something bad would happen and I wouldn't understand why and it made me realise how much attention I was paying to the movie when I don't always do that with movies I'll be honest with you maybe it's because I, I watch too many Marvel movies that's probably why uh, <laughs> but usually I'd, I'm not too self aware of how much attention I'm playing, paying to a movie at any given point. Unless it's like a really good action scene or really good... It's a Tarantino movie, it's like a really good dialogue scene or Scorsese, whatever. I'm not... With the average movie, I'm not usually so self-aware of that. And I was in this movie because things were serious, because it was... They, constantly, they didn't cut away from it. When things get serious, you don't have time to think. I just keep watching. Third thing, third and, and final big thing about why I like this movie and why, again, it relates back to my point. When things get serious, there's no time to think. The sound. People might be surprised by that because from what I've heard, this movie is more more um, revered in terms of a cinematography to people. And I understand why, the shadow scene. But the sound is what stuck out to me first uh, with this movie, one of the first things. It could have been, it was music sometimes, uh, the sound of gunshots, the sound of silence. Like I mentioned before with the camera work, it made me more self-aware watching this film. Because uh, without getting into details to spoil things for people who haven't seen it, this movie is basically just a race against time with certain characters getting from point A to point B. If you're like me and you're a paranoid person, person, when it comes to sound, I, for example, have a fear of like wasps, bees, various like small flying insects, right? Sometimes I can convince myself because I'm so paranoid in the hot summer air that they're around, that I, I can imagine buzzing even when it's not there. Imagine being in wartime. <laughs> And you are so paranoid. This, I'm not saying this applies to people in the, in the film, but it, it created that sense for me watching it as a viewer. I'm con I, If it was me in a situation, I would probably would die quick because I am so on edge about some trees bristling and maybe brushing like some barbed wire near a trench, near an enemy trench, or something happen, maybe like a wounded soldier that starts to to wriggle a bit too much you're like what the f this guy ain't dead kill him quick ah! whatever situation that again without spoiling things that happen in the movie i'm very self-aware of it and it puts me on edge because of the sound silence i never i never thought i would like a movie because of the scenes with just enough no sound in it as well as the sound of you hearing people singing that sometimes, hearing sirens, war sirens, hearing bombs and guns go off. Again, this wasn't like a movie where they deliberately tried to, or maybe they did, and I just don't know it. It wasn't a movie where I was aware that they were trying to edit things in a certain way to make you hear it a certain way. It was just my mentality, my perspective going into it. And guys, that's the last thought that I have in this movie, that the sound was the thing that 
it made me think about the moment. Um, but I wasn't thinking too too much beyond that. Again, when things get serious, there's no time to think. You just have to zone in, focus. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, those are my thoughts on the movie. Um, additional thoughts. Uh, I said it already. Sam Mendes, who's the co-writer of this movie. I believe he did Skyfall. I've seen his name on some of the Daniel Craig James Bond movies. Well done. Bravo. <laughs> yeah, you did You did well. Um, the, some of the main characters in this movie... I'm definitely IMDB in what you're doing next. Because I liked the acting performance. Don't think I forgot that. It's just other things stuck out to me more. And that's pretty much it, guys. Tell me your thoughts down below. Um, if you like this video, press that thumbs up button, of course. Don't be shy. Share it with your friends. And lastly, click that subscribe button. It's right there. Don't be shy. <laughs> Other than that, guys, signing off. Salute.